Hey YouTube, today we're going to do brakes. Uh, I am upgrading the front brakes from the stock crappy pads to a set of uh, StopTech ceramics. I got these from uh, uh, edgeautosport.com, uh, just like a lot of my other parts. And uh, we're going to put these in today. First thing you need to do is jack up the car and take the rims off. Next thing you're going to do is take the lid off of the master brake cylinder and put it somewhere where it's not going to fall in the engine bay. Alright, so there's a 7mm Allen head that holds the caliper on instead of a normal bolt. No idea why Ford did this, but it's kind of stupid. So anyways, uh, to get extra leverage and torque, I go ahead, put it in, put the box side of a wrench around it, and then just lift. And you're all good. Then once you break it free, just take it out the rest of the way by hand. Now we're going to take this clip out. Uh, like so. So you got up. You have to, when this is in, you have to push up here in the middle because these hook sore. It won't pull out until you push in and out. So you're going to pop this one out of the piston. Go down to where you're on metal on metal so you don't touch this boot. Pop it out. It has that little spring that holds it in. To get this front one loose, it's probably going to be stuck, but you go ahead and stick the screwdriver in here, stick it in there, and then pry it up. That's how I got it to come loose. So much brake dust everywhere, this is nasty. So the stock brake pads make so much dust, the brake cleaner wasn't doing it good enough. So just take a flathead go across like this to break it all loose and then you can come back by at the very end and clean it up with the uh, with the brake cleaner alright so now to the point where you can put in the new pads there's that one and then the front one just goes on like so now if you compressed it correctly it should slide on just like that. See that? So, if it doesn't go on like this, you might have to compress your piston on your caliper some more. So, what I'm going to do to install this is, first, I'm going to just line the holes up somewhat in, on here. I'm going to put these tabs right here behind these ears on the caliper bracket. Then I'm going to push up and over and give it a little tap just to get it to lock into place so it should not pop out so that's right so you just give it a tap till those hook on the inside of that loop next thing we're going to do is uh, clean and lube these pins we're going to rub them. So this is the grease I'm going to use for now on on my race car and on my Focus since I drive it hard. It has a very high temperature, um, 540 degrees F which is the highest one I could find locally so there might be a higher one around but um, so anyways I'm gonna put lube on here but I'm not gonna put it on the threads so I'm just gonna go all the way around make it nice and uh, gooey that way this the caliper has something to slide on There was no, it didn't look like there was grease on it from the factory, but it 
long as I don't put it on the threads, I don't see how it can't hurt. And since there is crap on this, that makes me think that it slides on it. So I'm gonna lube it, and that's that. So go ahead, slide it in the hole, and then we're gonna screw it in. All right, once you put in the um, pins again, and then just go ahead, give it a nice little torque. You shouldn't need to put a wrench on it. Um, so just give it a nice little torque. That one's good. Another reason I did not put grease on the threads is because it changes the amount of torque that's applied. So that's nice and tight. I'm going to finish cleaning this. And this side's done. Then you're just going to repeat the whole thing on the other side, which it's going to be perfectly identical. And you're done, man. That's it. So you guys, till next time, wrench on.